Hi guys, I want to start off by congratulating you for taking on the challenge of becoming a musician. And we're doing a quick tutorial on smart music, how to use it, and why every musician should be using it. And you're going to go, when you get to your home page, it's going to look something like this. So these are the classes I've set up and some assignments, and you won't see that. Uh, you will see some assignments if your teacher assigns you something over here. Uh, you're going to go down to your method books, or you can go to band uh, 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 arrangements or whatever else your teacher has assigned you from there. But we're going to go to method books, and you can hit that, and it's listed alph alphabetically. Go to whichever method book you're using. In our case, we're, we're using Standard of Excellence. And, of course, this is a web-based program, so you have to let it load. And your instrument will be listed here. In my case, I have all of them since I'm a teacher. And I'm going to demonstrate on flute today. And we're going to go to the first song, real song you learn. There are exercises in here as well as songs. And hot cross buns. I know you're excited already, right? And when you go to uh, play your song for the first time, a good idea is to listen to it. Uh, you can turn off the accompaniment and turn on your part. You can change the volume of the accompaniment or your part as well as the volume of the metronome. You can turn the metronome on or off. You want to hit the green triangle. And you can listen to it. You get the idea. The little cursor uh, symbol that go, going across here, uh, you can move back and forth. If you're not sure what a note is, you can click on it. And on the left hand side is a little icon. You click on that, it gives you the fingering. On the right hand side, it sounds the pitch for you, so you know what it sounds like with, when you go to play it, if you're playing it correctly. And also, another neat feature is you can tune your instrument up here. And done. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. I'm going to turn on, turn when you go to record, you do not want your part on. You have the accompaniment on, and you're going to hit this button. Make sure it's at the correct tempo, and you're going to hit the record button. And that window will pop up to test your microphone. Uh, and you should get this little check mark. If you don't get that, you get an X, red X. Uh, you might want try changing your volume of your uh, your computer. That helps at times. Uh, also, I strongly recommend having an external microphone uh, when you're doing this. So we're going to hit start. Okay, so you'll see when you're playing correctly, it lights up green. And here I played some different notes for you to show you that if you play the wrong note, it shows you what note you played incorrectly. So in this case, instead of playing B flat, I played a D. Right here, I played a C. Here, I played a B flat. And right here, if it's yellow, it means you played the right note. You just weren't in tempo, playing it at the right time. Okay. That's been our tutorial on uh, smart music. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you use it a lot and improve, because you will if you do. Bye now.